Hello, YouTube, Salivate Metal here, and I can't believe there's no viewers yet. What's wrong with people? I've only been on for 0.4 seconds. Actually, I take that back. We still have zero viewers, and I've been on for longer than 0.4 seconds. Anyways, you're probably wondering why you are looking at a package that says wheat snack bread. Well, that's just to entice viewers here because that's a new in thing on YouTube these days is uh, MRE wheat snack bread snacks. So when people see this packaging, they come and run and that's right, that's what happens. And they look at they're all starting to pour in right now because they see this wheat snack bread and they wanna be a part of the action because that's where the action is. There's always action wherever there's a lot of activity. And that's what's happening here and you are a part of it and now you're going to hear double speak because i've not yet paused the other feed so i can see your comments here we go all right baggins is here leon is here rb50 is here my count was wrong tony is here thomas crown the thomas crown affair is here king crown is even here a friend is here all right so we're getting people swinging in here very nice because they saw the wheat snack bread and that's what it's about ania is here all right Traders love actions. That's right, exactly, for sure. We got a little uh, English action here from England. Everybody's here. And CCT is here. And Salivate Metal is here. Everybody's here. La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. Ya here, ya no quiere caminar. I know the song. But Hep Kitty got some Libertads. And Hep Kitty's a great photographer, too, if you get a chance. But speaking of Libertads, let's break to... Wait for it. Wait for it. We'll wait to get 21 viewers. We've got 20. Well, as soon as we get 21 viewers, I'm going to show you what's underneath this thing here. We'll wait. Of course, that means there's 21 viewers. Boom. There it is. All right. Here we go. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hold on one second. I got another uh, thing I got to attend to. I'll be right back. You see a hair right there. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, we are back. That is a Mexican Libertad and a hair. All right, very good. So there it is, and some copper. Because, you know, that's the one thing about precious metals. Copper is, uh, you know, it's there's a lot of different colors for these metals. And you've got, let's see, we've got, wait, wait a minute, since Baggins is here, let's see. Yes, hello, Baggins. And the kitties are not around here, unfortunately. They've been, they have been, uh, absent as of late i need to get them back in a in, in a video but here we go so here's the different colors of the of the metals look at that gold silver and copper kind of cool isn't it to see them all together like that that's fun it's it's exciting it's new and so yeah so this video is called reveal a deal and we're going to wait till we get some more uh, people to come in but in the meantime we're going to just uh, chat with you guys here okay ania's got a mail call coming uh an unboxing to do tonight very good yes copper is a sleeper metal baggin says yeah you never know what could happen copper could become a sleeper metal and uh, and and surge for like it did about 2007 2008 for sure very nice b davis is here hello and fte inc is here in for the cookies oh yeah speak thank you hey thank you yes my snacks here we go i forgot about this i am hungry and uh so yeah let's see what cct said yeah i'm gonna probably miss i just got home from metal detecting but no precious metals today sadly i'm sorry cct bummer but i hear that and hello silver bull by the way and uh everyone else but what's uh, i hear uh, pops is going to go over there uh, over to england to visit our good friend cct so that'll be cool i can't wait to see the videos that come come from those i imagine they're going to go around to some different yard sales and find some things to sell on ebay i learned a lesson from one of you guys about this take these and dip it in the coffee and it makes for a nice smooth snack so it doesn't 
make my throat so dry. All right. Anyway, yeah. So we'll get a couple more viewers in. And then I'll tell you about this great deal I got. It's a really, now, for some people, it may seem, it may not seem like a big deal. But for those of us who don't get these great deals very often, it's a pretty cool thing. It's a pretty, pretty nice deal. Yes, I'm making Baggins hungry with them. And these things are good too. These little dark chocolate granola bars are very tasty, very yummy. Aspie, Aspie Man is here. He likes modern Libertads the best. You like them better than the old school ones? The old school ones are nice and thick. Oh, hey, 24K is here. Hello. 24K just watched my friend of a friend's gold friend's gold video friend. Nice. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I figured I was long overdue for posting a video like that, so I... I had my friend uh, allow me to to film uh, his collection again and a different some different coins this time in it. But yeah, edge lettering is the best. I love the edge lettering as well too. Billy's brew, love that edge lettering on this piece. And is this one is is done particularly well, for sure. And I'm sorry, 24K. This is not 24K. This is a um, 22K. But this is gift from Baggins. Very nice. But it's nice to see the different uh, um, pieces here. Yes, thank you, 24K. I wish I wish half of it was mine. It would be nice. That yeah, would be nice. <clears throat> Collect everything says if you subscribe to me, I will subscribe back to you. Wow. Well, hey, why don't we try it this way? Why don't you just subscribe to us, all of us here, and we'll see what happens. Let's not make it a... Uh, Hold us hostage here with the subscriptions, you know what I'm saying? No stamps on copper. Actually, there are. Here's the here's the stamping. This is from one of those. Um, these are called copper crackers. And they, um, they came in a big sheet. In fact, I still have some of them that are together. And I broke them to get, I broke them out, this uh, part of this sheet on a prior video. Uh, talking about he will divide us. And I, in fact, did divide them. It was quite fun. All right. Let's see here. Touching, uh, teaching my daughter um, how live YouTube chat works. works. Oh, great, Silver Bull. Tell your daughter said hello. Hold on, might need the pocket change when in London. Oh, it's 24K coming to London, too. Oh, he's got a friend coming to London. Very cool. Thank you. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right. So there's, en there's enough of you here that I think I can talk about this deal. And again, for some of you, it's uh, it's not as big a deal as 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 others. Uh, let's see here. Let me let me let me mute this comment, or I'm going to actually moderate a comment here. Let's see here. Okay, I deleted it. Very good. All right. Now, let's see here. Okay, now, um, this deal, I'm going to wipe the slate clean here, wiping the slate clean. I was able to acquire these six coins here. I mean, these five, these five coins here. Actually, not this one. Let me take the one out so that I am absolutely accurate my, in my present representation, presentation of these. I got these five coins, yep, wipe the slate clean, for only, for only $10. That's $2 a coin, and that's under spot. At least it was when I purchased it. Silver's gone down. You know, I haven't even checked it. I should have checked it before it came on here. Let's check it right now. Let's see what we've got. Spot price of sixteen sixty eight. So let's see. Let's go to. By the way, if y'all want a, a good um, website to check this type of thing, go to coinflation.com. 
or else there's apps. And I, th I think I did one on called uh, Metal Value Later. Um, but I'm just going to go here for the sake of um, for the sake of convenience, and we're going to look up quarters. Okay, let's see here. So we've got where is the and we want silver. So we're going to go to the silver quarters. Where are the silver quarters? Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So if we look at this thing here, there is. Why isn't this thing? It's three dollars. Three dollars and one cent. So I saved a dollar per coin on this. So that's a pretty good deal, wouldn't you say? I mean, you know, it's not like it's like save hundreds of dollars or anything like that. But hey, sometimes, yeah, silver, uh, silver man, it would be nice to throw in that seventy ounces of gold on there if I if I had it, if it was mine to do. Thank you, a friend. Yeah, I got a pretty good deal on. It. I was kind of surprised. Yes, yes, indeed. Let's see here. So we are okay. All right, let's see. I'm catching up with some comments here. Oh, um, somebody had, Justin had ordered the 10 ounce while the silver price drops. Yeah, there was a 10 ounce deal for silver. Um, silver Gold Bull has it. They've got their own bar. And it's kind of cool looking. It's kind of plain, but it's kind of cool. So, so Silver Future says, I got those for $13, $13, dollars $13 below spot per ounce. Yeah. Let's see here. All right. Yes, these are these are barber quarters there. Silver future. These are and here's what the reverse looks like. And these are typically very thin because they've been worn down. These are these wear very it's hard to find them in good shape, but these aren't in bad shape, all things considered, considering the price. At seven and a half dollars below spot. If they're quarters, yes, that's right. <clears throat> Leon bought a, a few worthless, stupid German copper coins at fifteen euro each and sold them for fifty euro each. That's a good deal. Yes, thank you, Laney. They're nice shape too. Very good. Sorry, I missed your chat earlier, by the way. So yes, very very nice. Let's see here. Yes, uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot of thumb rub on these. They're, they're, I mean, you know, they're obviously worn baggins, but they're not, um, I mean, you can especially, especially tell on the obverse, like on this one you can see, but you can still see part of the uh, chin line there. And if you can see the chin line, that means that it's, uh, you know, they're not in too bad a shape and it's a pretty good uh, um, deal to get them for, under spot. Yes, uh, where's Cole? Sal has Cole. Yeah, if I've got Cole Silver hidden in my Cole Silver. <laughs> He's hidden in my Cole Silver. <clears throat> Makes me want to take a dip with my little thing in here. Yeah, F12 grade. That's probably right, Aspie, man. Like a low, fine grade. Yes, Justin Musgrave. You're exactly right. The Eagles really stand out with the, um, especially on this one right here, with that dark toning, the dark wearing there. Hello, Dean. Dean made it. He got it he here on time for a change. Hello, Dean. Good to see you, Leon. Like sold American coins. He might as well buy a few. Oh, he's coming. So Leon is coming to the U.S. Very cool. That'd be great that you come and welcome to America. Uh, Poppy Stuff is, is here to say hello to everybody. We're saying hello back to Poppy Stuff. Mm. My fingers smell like copper now as I'm eating my snack. All right. Very, very nice. Hmm. Baggins, thank you for stopping by. If you're saying good night, thank you, 
Silver bowl, yeah, thank you. Yeah, and that's the deal. So that's the epitome of the video. Blade Craze Jester. Um, any, um, ask if there's any experience in old silver like Roman stuff. I don't have any old. Well, I think I may have one silver denarius um, somewhere, but it's not around here anywhere. Um, I'll have to try to find find where it is. Um, you know, I think I have an old coin book here, but I don't think there's a denarii in here. What's the plural of denarius? Denarii? I'm not sure. Yep, I ain't got it here. That's right. It's not in here. I'm looking through there, but I can't find it. It's not in here. Nope. Sorry about that. All right. Hello, Mike GP. Yo, what's up, homie? Um, so Poppy Stuff just got the Looney 30th Anniversary set, and it's a sweet set. Very cool. Nice. Ania got uh, her chi Wu today. Need to unbox it. Hope it's not as cherry-picked as others have been receiving. Yeah. I hope you get a, a nice one. I've heard a lot of good things about those. I've seen them, and they are nice. They are nice. I'm thinking about getting one. Oh. Yes, SB man, I agree. The 225th anniversary of silver metal price is crappy, for sure. Yes, very much so. Mm. Don't mind me, I'm, I'm just chewing. Almost done, though. Mm. All right. So Stephen Wells likes the new Vader coins. <clears throat> and you know what? To be honest with you, I've seen videos on them. And they're, you know, <clears throat> they're kind of flat looking. You know what I'm saying? They're kind of flat. I mean, yes, they're shiny. They have that reverse proof. And somebody was saying that when you turn them a certain way, you can kind of, it looks dark, <clears throat> you know. Uh, Vader looks dark. But, um, yeah. Salivate Metal, can you interview Frank P? Uh, well, nah, that's okay. I think Frank P is back. Let's see here. I uh, picked up my second one-ounce gold eagle. Two tubes of ASEs. LCS did me right today. Very good. It's full of stars. That's awesome. Hello, Silver Wolverine. Good to see you. Nice. It's more than just two pounds of massive silver just for a few bucks. Best deal I ever made. Nice. <clears throat> Canada, they have silver bars, a Star Wars theme from the Royal Canadian Mint. <clears throat> yeah, they've got, uh, there's a lot of, it's amazing, especially in the last, <clears throat> you know, three or four years, we've seen a, a, an explosion of uh, not only comic book themed, but Star Wars and Star Trek themed pieces. But I want to know when we're going to get a Fargo coin or an Office Space coin or a Mystery Men coin. That's what I'm looking for, the cult classics. A Dumb and Dumber silver coin. Where are they? A Clint Eastwood, a Dirty Harry themed coin. Dean Eastward bound you are. Yeah, that's what, that was, that's what made me think of Clint Eastwood. Golden Turd, silver price is below my cost price average, so I will grab another two kilogram bars this morning. Wow. Two kilo bars. Nice. Fargo, yes. Great movie. Oh, yeah. Is that your friend there in the wood chipper? Yeah. Pale Rider silver coins. Well, we have the next best thing. The uh, We've got the Horseman of the Apocalypse series. That's going to have Pale Rider, I think, on it. Richard G., what's up? 
hello to you and hello to everybody else from here on out this deal for those of you just joining me and us here in the chat side i got these five coins for ten dollars that's below spot price i just thought i'd share that with everybody the grenadier grenadier hey 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 what's up i like that iron cross by the way in your avatar there very cool uh the pegasus coin yeah you, you talking about mike maloney's pegasus coin you know i might even have one I, well no i don't think i do have it nearby i was going to show it to you i have one and it's pretty cool i think it could it's a it's you know it's fine for a bullion piece depending on the standards it probably could have been better executed but it's a pretty good design mine's dated 2013. oh anita's thinking about buying some spanish shipwreck gold in st thomas but that would be nice that would be cool outlaw josie whale special one ounce 999 silver construct dismal says yes that would be really cool it's the old spaghetti westerns you know my camera's not focused focus you stupid thing put that there it'll focus no it won't focus you all should not have to look at it. blurry images while i'm talking come on we'll put this liberty back i'll surround the Libertad with silver, with other silver. I'll put in a sixth Barber Dime. How's that? Now it focuses. There we go. That's what it liked. Wanted to see that. Okay, now what are people saying here? Uh, let's see. No, the new one, 2017. Aeneas Spanish shipwreck gold coins are often overpriced. Go for the Dutch wreck coins. Check them out. They're very good. The pawn shop down my street sells junk silver super low, but bullion is well over spot. About 15 ounce. Yeah. Oh, U.S. Virgin Island Pegasus. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. No, I've not seen that one. That, yeah, I've not heard of that. German Nazi gold coins from Swiss bank safes are awesome, too. Um, okay, is full of stars. It's full of stars. Question for the quorum. What are your thoughts about the new four coin set out of Royal Mint? One ounce silver Tower of London. Oh, they, they do fractional sizes of those? What's these sizes? I've not seen that set. Let's see here. All right, CCT went to a porn shop and they didn't have any silver or gold. That's right, because, you know, for the, those of us hardcore stackers, and I use that term tightly, not loosely, the term hardcore, uh, when we think of porn, we think of silver and gold porn. That's right. So when we go to a porn shop, we expect gold and silver. But yay, they don't have that. They, they have more fleshly type things. We're looking for hard assets, not soft assets. Let's see here. A very good question. Um, okay, uh, Tony Ricci, your thoughts on the Aries God of War, two ounce. <clears throat> good question. I've seen two videos on it, and it is a stunning design. I do like the high relief. I'm going to tell you about a pet peeve of mine that has nothing to do with really the, um, uh, uh, the, the, the opinion on the design. The design is great, and I like the selective gold plating. The gilding on it is awesome, and the design is great. It's a nice composition, but the problem that I have with those, and I have them with uh, most of these high reliefs that come from Perth and other places, is their high relief on one side. In other words, the the Gods of Olympus series and the Goddesses of Olympus series, and now the Norse God series, the same thing the reverse is very high relief but the obverse is flat and i'm like it just is weird it's strange same thing with those really max relief coins same deal and that just is strange to me i don't like that yes that's right the grenadier oh it has some hard assets yes yes um uh, well yeah these right here <laughs> we will we'll, I'll leave that. We'll leave it. We'll leave it where it is now. Okay, silver and gold bull Canada. Do you have the ten ounce 
uh, bars a spot, one per customer, and new or old to limited time. That's right, Robert. We talked about that earlier. That's right. That is a good deal. And yeah, and by the way, yes, I've revealed my deal, but it's okay for you to reveal your deals too. So thank you, Robert. Good idea. So now we can keep the theme running here with a revelation of the deal of nations. Exactly right. Yes, on this live feed. Ah, so let's see here. What else is going on here? Uh, lots of spot price deals at the moment. Are dealers predicting a price drop? You know, that seems to be the case, CCT. Um, typically, when we have price drops, then the dealers drop their price. So who knows? This kitty round might actually go down in price. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know when, um, whenever the, um, there's, whenever the price drops, I don't know what kind of dealers, how big the dealers have got to be in order to make that kind of notion or, or make that prediction who's in the loop and who's not that type of deal. But nonetheless, it is what it is. That's right. Very good. That's a cat smiling, Justin Musgrave. That's right. Multitude of fortitude, it says right there. This is the first time you're seeing this, Justin. This is your first time seeing this. Um, uh, Silver Wolverine. No, I'm not sipping on Crown. I'm sipping on coffee. Whoops, I don't want to spill it. You can't see it. There's part of the cup. There it is. Sipping on coffee, n not, not, the, not the crown. I, I may sound like I'm inebriated, but I really honestly am not with a hard H right there. Nice. Oh, Poppy Stuff just got the kitty. Cool. Thank you, Poppy Stuff. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's 1.75 ounces, reeded edge here, as you can see. If it'll focus with the reeded edge, we'll see. We'll find out. Uh, so Dean just, uh, got the spot 10 ounce from the silver gold bull. That's the best deal going, I think. It's not going to focus up like that for some strange and odd reason. Nice. What do you think about the third grizzly, uh, gold coin Canadian? <clears throat> I've not seen it. Is it a third of an ounce? Some of those, um, RCM coins come in. At a um, kind of under the radar, low minages and some sweet finds. So if you can find those kind of good deals, that's great. Uh, JD Django says you allowed all of us to grab a kitty, even those of us who aren't that famous. Yeah, cool. Yes, Richard says. What do you think? Okay, yes. Yeah, so it is a third of an ounce gold, and I assume it's probably pure gold. But sometimes Royal Canadian Mint comes out with. Um, different, I think I've seen them recently come out with a 500 fine gold coin. Silver Savers here. Silver Saver triple zero, that is. Do you know if there will be a Lunar Series 3 after this one is over? I would be willing to bet CCT's life on it that there will be a Series 3 Lunar. And by the way, I really like CCT, so that's saying something. So, yes, I think they will do a Series 3. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Leon. <laughs> Here's the back, by the way, or the reverse. Of the piece there. And, uh, yeah. So, yes, it, indeed, there will be a Series 3. I'm willing to bet other people's lives on it. Okay. So, let's see. So, um. With that being said, there's some great deals out there. We do see them happen. It seems like when spot price goes down. And the thing is, is I don't know if you all have seen the video I did about this, this uh, prediction about massive movement of metals buying and selling on the, physical, on the physical market that's supposed to happen in and around July the 5th. Uh, so we shall see um, what happens there. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, Easy Tiger. Looks like a Cheshire, Cheshire cat. Okay. I don't know. I'm not familiar with that. Okay. Hey, Mr. Zeke is here. Hello, sir. All right. Oh, hey, Ania. You know, Ania, I'm going to throw something out there for you before you go. 
um, do you have, if you have a webcam, we can do your unboxing right here and I can invite you in. You can do it right on camera here if you'd like. It's just a, just a little thing. If you want to do it, let me know. Uh, and then I can send you an email with a link. That might be something fun to do if you want to do that, but that's just, a, it's a little bit of a, you have to be careful. Don't show your personal information or anything like that, but that's up to you. But if not, it's okay. So let's see here. Okay. All right. Um, let me see. I will send you, do you know how to, I don't know if you've never worked these things before. I'll send you a link and we'll see if you come in and uh, let's see here, but just be careful unboxing, not to show your personal information because it is live. And so I'm going to send you an email with a link and we'll, We'll do this. We'll, we'll, we'll do this. Let's see here. Uh, I think I've got it. Okay. Okay. I know this is uh, last minute here. So we will see if it works. We will see. I just sent it out. Let's see. All right. Poking my head in for a second to say hello. Uh, watch, so he's he's been watching Nick Offerman. I don't know who Nick Offerman is, Mr. Zeke. Sounds like an interesting show. Never heard of him. But thanks for popping in, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was talking to you. Oh, yeah, okay, you can't. Okay, never mind. Okay, Ania can't. Okay, never mind. All right. She was talking to somebody else. No worries, no worries, no worries. Hello, Silver Bean Counter. What's up? Yes, Leon, we want to know where your girlfriend is tonight. That's the question, because usually you've got to go check on something that she asked you to do, and we want, we want immense details of the, of the activity. But, uh, yeah, so, okay, Frederick Brandt has called me out. All right, he's called me out. Here it is. My Fertitude round is a ripoff from the Cat Silver Medal from 1896. So let's see what this... Cat Silver Medal is from 1896. Hmm, let's see here. Images. Cat Silver Medal, 1896. I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing a an image of a, uh, looks like a Roman god or something like that. No cats. Uh, let's see. I don't see it. I don't see it. Cat Silver Medal from 1896. I see one. Let's see here. And I'm not seeing the chat right now because I'm checking on what Frederick sent me here. I see one thing on Etsy, but I don't think that's what he's talking about. I don't see it. Uh, let's see here. If you can go to Fritz. Okay, Lot 20. Fritz Kunker and check Lot 178. I'm going to search that. I don't know where that. You have to send send a direct link, I think, to that. Let's see here. To check on an auction and a lot number. Yeah, you got to have a special thing for that. But I'm looking at one thing under that, and there's some cool-looking coins in there. Let's see. Okay. Hydroconomist. What did Hydroconomist say that was so cool? Nick Offerman is from my hometown. Cool. I don't know. I still don't know who that is, but that's cool. Whoever that is, Nick Offerman. We got a we got a Cessna pilot in here. Hello, C one seventy two pilot dude. Welcome to to um, Gulf Airspace. This is Gulf Airspace, where you can fly anywhere and everywhere with no restrictions. That's right. Any maneuvers you want to do, you can do it right here in this room. Class E airspace from ground level up to 1,200, you can't do anything in that, in that area. You just you can't do it. All right, let's see here. He was a guy from Parks and Rec, Parks and Rec, which I've never seen that show, but thank you, Hydroconomist. I was wondering who that was. Tammy, too, is from Oklahoma. Okay. So Leon's girlfriend is from Iowa, and she's at she is a the gym, and she'll come back soon though. She's at the gym, but she's from Iowa. So Leon's got an American girl. 
Nice. Okay. All right. Let's see. I think, I think Frederick has um, found the coin. So we're going to search this thing here and pull this sucker up. Let's see here. I think we've got it here. Okay. Lot. All right. What's the uh, what's the freaking? All right. I've got a. What's the lot number? Let me go back up here. The obverse is dead on. Okay, let me let me find go up here and find your things. So you don't have to repeat it. Seven twenty eight. I've got to find seven twenty eight. Bear with me. I'm gonna to try to find this thing where I ripped off this um, seven twenty eight. So I gotta probably turn a bunch of pages here. I'm gonna to have to maximize this. Seven twenty eight. This is gonna take a while. Hold on a minute here. Mm, man. Can you give me a page number? Give me a page number. I think that's gonna be the best thing. Maybe that's four forty-five oh nine thirty-eight. Maybe I can get this here. I'm not looking at the chat right now because I'm actually looking at this um auction catalog. I'll screen share this when I find it. It got me very curious because there's a lot of pa just pages on this thing here, but it's kind of some really cool looking coins. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need a page number, I think. I can't read any of this crap. Yeah, these auction numbers start at, um, let me go back to the chat and let's see if Frederick will give us a page number. I got to see this. All right. It's not a direct link. It's a direct link to the PDF, Frederick. It's a PDF. Yeah, he can't drop a direct link in here. I, I, I realize he's so he's got to take off the www. And the thing is, it opens up, but it doesn't. Um, it opens up a, a document inside of a document that has numerous pages. So we have to find the, where the actual thing is. He said lot 728, but the, but the lot's starting to 3,000s. So either Frederick, or, Frederick is smoking um, hash. It's a German website, yeah. If you can find the... Um, and again, the thing is out of focus again let me see okay now it's in focus it wasn't in focus on the other screen here let's see okay where are we at i'm multitasking here okay let me close that close this and back to this uh, yeah I, yeah i can't uh you're gonna have to send me a freaking thing a freaking freak thing um another image anyways all right let's talk about something else okay all right he sent me another link let's try this i think we were just there let's see conquer which means the site does not exist. Yeah, I think Fred is full of wiener schnitzel. Didn't work, Frederick. Kwang Tsai Mo has sent something. Okay, let's see if Kwang Hai Ko's uh, link will work. Kwang Mo's. Let's see if Kwang Mo's. Yeah, it didn't work. Um, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, Frederick's wasting time here. Okay, let's see. Okay, all right. Small gold, just an odd thought. Have you ever seen a mixed gold silver coin? I know there are, uh, are door bars. Has anyone ever seen a gold... Silver mixed coin. Small gold, I actually have a video showing some of those, um, believe it or not. And I, it's relatively recently, but I forgot what I called it. 
and it does have gold mixed with silver. There actually is some. That's an excellent question, and I've shown those from my friend's collection, some of those pieces. And uh, I think they were like small dollars. I think they were American pieces or privately minted pieces, but I don't remember. Uh, so Easy Tiger 5000 says, can you not buy Cuban cigars after today's speech? They'd be a good investment. I think you can import them, but not directly from Cuba is from what I, how I understand it. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I think so, silver bean counter. Somebody went back in time and made a... Frederick, if you want to PM me, when you find that link, PM me the link. That would be good. Small gold, I don't shoot. I don't remember. And I don't want to waste too much time trying to find it um, uh, right now because, uh, but it's, shoot, I don't know. I, I, don't even, I don't even remember the title of it. Let's see here. HTTP colon slash slash. Yeah, that didn't come up. If I do www, link that's not going to come up either. Not there, not there. Uh, so, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, if I find there, I'll let you know. But you, um, you might be able to see it from the preview pictures, and I forgot exactly what kind of coins they were. Um, if hey CCT, if you see the coin, email email me that link. I I tried copying and pasting and it wouldn't work. I wish it would allow uh, links in here, but it doesn't. Can you email me that link, CCT? Um, so C one seventy two pilot dude really wants uh, a roll of the brand new twelve sided English pound coins. I do too. I definitely this this pound coins. I've been meaning to to look those up on 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 eBay and get get one or two. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> let's see here. <clears throat> okay, Leon, right now we're looking at, um, a couple of different coins here. Um, right now we're looking at something that Frederick Brandt had talked about, and I'm going to open this thing up here because CCT has just emailed me. This late at night, too. Very nice of him to email me so late. Okay, now. Boom, here it is. All right, thank you. Okay, I'm going to screen share this. Thank you very much. Okay, now this is what Frederick Brandt was talking about. I'm going to screen share this. Hold on. Let me find a way to do this. Let me see. I don't do this very often. Not that. Not this. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Start screen share. Present to everybody. Boom. There it is. Boom, boom, boom. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Wow. Frederick Brandt was right. Look at that. Except that kitty looks a little more sinister than my kitty. Bremen. That is a pretty cool looking piece. I never knew. Hey, look, it's got fur in it, too. Fertitude, Fur Verenstein Volkstein. I'm going to save this image. Not yet, but I, I will save that image. Boom, boom, breathing kitty. But the back is different, Frederick. Look at that. That is awesome. Stopping, stop, stop. Wow. Well, there you go. It's an ugly cat. Yeah, it is pretty ugly. It looks like an angry cat. Mine's more of a peaceful cat fun-loving kitty <laughs> with a smile and uh but it's pretty wild so frederick have i yes obverse you're right frederick one of these days frederick will be frederick i believe that frederick will be the first in norway to own one of these pieces and he's going to post a video about it and it's going to go viral on norwegian youtube I mean, he'll be able to go to Valhalla when he knows that he has purchased this uh, multitude of fortitude coin. Thank you, Poppy Stuff. Poppy Stuff likes the kitty. Got the kitty. Very nice. Um, make violin string out of him. Yes, that's right. 
Vicious Feral Kitty, the prequel. That's right, DJD. That's exactly right. And it's the rest and the rest of the cat to the glue factory. Oh wow. It's uh it's 25% uh value added tax on silver rounds. So it's gonna be plus shipping, it would be quite inexpensive, but Frederick makes pretty good money, so he's so it's about 200 euro for 26 grams of silver. Yes, yes, Golden Turd, Carving Fortitude Part 2 will be coming out soon. Thank you for reminding me. Um, so Quang Mo says, the, the Bremen Medal says, for meritorious achievements. Very interesting. So the Hydroconomist says, yeah, the Silver Gold Bowl deal was toots worth it, was two days worth it simply because I could use Bitcoin to get it at that deal. Woot, woot, double woot. Nice. Yeah. Let's see here. Okay. And I'm sorry if I'm missing some of your comments, by the way, up above. A.G. Randall's here, though. Hello, A.G. Randall. It's good to see you. I won't say that any of you are in the house because you're not. You're in a, you're in a, you're in a, um, your digital presence is happens to be floating inside of the ethernet of the internet, the ether of the internet. John Hartley's got two kittens ready for adoption free. Man, whoa. Well, I wish I could take you up on that offer, my friend, but uh, I got two of my own that's a handful, and I got some cold coffee here too. Hey, friend. Yeah, we're just a bunch of angry cats hanging out. Stephen Wells does, is allergic to cats, maybe, because he says no cats, please. Wolfman Sacks, I'm inside your house. Oh, what, what, oh, wait, wait a minute. Let me look here. Nope, I don't see Wolfman Sacks here. He thought, it was, <laughs> he thought he was in inside the house here. So Bullion Bug just got the 10-ounce silver bull bar. Very, very nice. How do you like it? Is it a pretty good finish on it, that proof bull? CCT's got cold coffee as well. I hear you. And uh, it's, shoot, what time is it? It's almost midnight there. And uh, he's drinking cold coffee. Cold coffee and warm ale. That's what, it's, that's what it's all about in the United Kingdom tonight. Tractor Man is here. John Hartley is in South Carolina. Yep, too far of a drive for me. I'm up in and around the Washington, D.C. area. Hmm. Sure am. Hey, Salome, would you uh, like a knife for opening silver bags and boxes? Yeah, I could always use another knife. In fact, this knife here that I usually use to unbox stuff, this thing is, is a little bit janky. Uh, this rubber part here is kind of loose and uh, so yeah anyways bourbon and diet coke ooh that would be weird to have liquor inside of a diet diet beverage colonic stacker my feline stepped on my keyboard and turned off my laptops a minute ago son of a don't you hate it when kitties do that they know just exact keystrokes to put your computer in sleep mode your laptop there Bullion bug has the bull on both sides of the bar. Yeah, I've seen pictures uh, where the um, one side has the bull facing the one way and the other side has half of it facing the other way on the portrait side. All right, Poppy Stuff, what is your favorite 2017 coin? Great question. And you know what? That's a tough one. I I'd almost have to say maybe this, um, but I don't know for sure. The Red Dragon from 2017, that's a sweet coin. But, you know, that that, that Chiwu piece is pretty freaking sweet, too. Um, oh, okay, John Hartley's diabetics are going to go on, uh, go to the di diet. But doesn't, but let me ask you this, John. Um, doesn't alcohol convert the sugar in the body? Um, okay. Let's see here. All right. All right. So let's see. I may have to melt mine and they keep the price down and I will be back for lots more SGB beauties. Some awful knives on so many unboxings. Everyone should have a decent knife for presentation unboxing events. 
Yes, that's right. And I'm guilty of that too. I confess. I confess. Um, okay, Blade Craze Jester is a is a bladesmith. So I have a few lying around. Oh, cool. Well, thank you, Blade. Um, yeah, just shoot me an email. We'll work all that stuff out. But thank you. I'll be glad to showcase a knife of yours and an unboxing that I do. Um, <clears throat> let's um, just shoot me a uh, an email at salivatemetal at gmail.com. And we'll work out the details. But thank you, uh, Blade Craze Jester. In fact, I think I, if I'm, if I understand knife stuff, it looks like your profile picture without actually visiting your channel looks like uh, a blade, part of a blade. How some of those blades can have that different swirly effect in the metal. Let's see here. Okay, so thank you. Um, DP says BTC, Bitcoin and, and uh, Ethereum are are both down right now. Will they bounce back? Good question. Uh, you know, I think that they probably will, or at least they'll even out probably is my guess. Um, and uh, there's a chance they will. Um, but it's hard to say really for sure because it's so volatile. Okay, let's see here. Uh, no, Poppy stuff. I don't have a chi root, but I want one. I will hopefully eventually get one. And I would really like to get the first one because I kind of I kind of like to collect the series, but the first one costs like a hundred bucks. But I really want the Chi Wu. Honestly, I think the I think the 2017 one is is a better design than the the first year. Try to par parlay to extra ounces. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yep. Looks like the Leatherman is a good knife. Picked one up recently to replace lost Swiss Army knife. Very good, very good. <clears throat> Opinion on gold money. Uh, you know, I think I've heard of that, but I'm not sure. Isn't that one of those multi-level marketing things where they, um, um, where you buy into this thing and they, they, I don't know. I don't know much about it. Gold money. There's one called Bid Gold too a while ago that um, Gold Bear Bunny was talking about, but it ended up not being. A good thing either. Let's see here. Timbers Rock and Life. Hey, it's Patrick's son. Do you want to forge this weekend? Yeah. Hey, you know what? I might as well let the cat out of the bag here now. Um, uh, it's funny. Let me tell you the story about Timbers Rock and Life. Um, I did a, one of my melt videos, and he, he thought for sure it was this, that um, I was the son of some guy he knew named Patrick. And uh, I told him I was, and we went on for a little bit. But I'm actually not uh, Timber's Rock and Life. But I hope you keep watching and just have a little fun with you. I thought for sure if you'd watch again, you'd realize that I wasn't. But, uh, yeah. The Silver Bean Counter's with me. He wants the first Chi Wu, too. Those were cool coins or, or clays. I don't know what you call them. Is clay a denomination? I don't know. All right, Timber's Rock and Life. Woo, all right. He's, he's with me on that one. Cool. Cutting paper is a killer on the blade edge. Yes, that's right. But Silver Bean Counter and I are on the same page with those chi We went the first ones. We want to get the chi -woos. One day, if I get a little extra money, I may do that. <clears throat> so AG Ender is now into crypto mining. Anybody know anything about it? It takes up a lot of electricity. There's places where you can go where you can pay people to do that. But uh, I don't know that I would get into that. Ikeo Net One does that. He mines. <clears throat> I metal detect from time to time. I mean, very, very little time to time. Uh, ooh, nice blade craze. Just who make? Hey, can you do a video of you making it? That would be cool. A uh, 5160, good, tough steel. Is it Sheffield steel? I've heard Sheffield steel was really good steel. Uh, okay. Oh, let's see here. Oh, wow. Ania is making us jealous. I'm drooling now, Ania. <clears throat> Ania has unboxed her Chi Wu, and it is awesome. Wow. Nice. Okay, let's see here. Stephen Wells, Stephen Wells got in a good time early this year when Ethereum was at $7. Wow, that is good. You did get in at a good time. Okay, DP is asking 
if I know what happened to Big Stack McGee. I posted a video about it. Um, it's, uh, it's called Whatever Happened to Big Stack McGee in the Silverfish VT. Check out that video for a more extended answer. But a quick, the quick answer is he has surfaced lately and actually was commented on one of my videos and is doing well. But for more detailed uh, answer, check that video out if you get a chance. Just search uh, under my videos under whatever happened to Silverfish VT. I wish I could tell um, <clears throat> the other um, uh, small gold about what video to watch about the silver and gold coins mix because that is pretty cool. Let's see here. Nice. So it's cool. They, you know, that's just it. You know, blazed, um, blade craze jester. <clears throat> you know, is a knife maker. It's so amazing to see the the ta the many talents here in the community. And um, <clears throat> that's one wild thing about how how things are here because you have people that are survivalists that enjoy silver. You've got knife makers who enjoy silver. You've got cryptocurrency lovers who enjoy silver. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah. So, uh, poppy stuff. Yes, there is a coin show coming up in Baltimore. And I may go. It's not 100% sure, but I may go. And if I do go, well, look me up. I can look you up, but you're in Canada, aren't you, Poppy Stuff? Let's see. Uh, hey, salute Lami. Salute Liami. The, ter the Teffert says, hello, the Teffert. Trade 24-7. Leon says CCT. That's from Alsace. It's a German brand. We just love all metals. That's right, Tomoko. Anything that has to do with metal, we love it. Tractor men. Yes. You know what? Tractor man is unique in the silver community because he blends tractors, his love for tractors. Did you see my comment? And I don't know if I've, um, I ever um, uh, looked back to see if you responded back, but have you ever heard of Deutsch tractors? Deutsch German maker, really good tractors. A friend of mine's got them. But yes, tractor men enjoy tractors too. Yes, indeed. Aspie man is back. Good to see you, Aspie man. Glad you're back. By the way, Aspie Man, when I first saw you, I thought you were Ape Man. There's a guy named Ape Man that kind of looks like you. He used to uh, be an old YouTuber back in the day. Okay, let's see here. New Jersey. Well, hey, maybe you can come down from New Jersey to Baltimore. Poppy stuff. And I can see you at the, at the coin show. That'd be cool. Be cool to meet you. Uh, let's see here. Hey, CCT. All right. CCT's got an early start tomorrow, but thank you for hanging in there. It's midnight there in the United Kingdom, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, so, yeah, thanks for coming on. Yes. Did, okay, so he's heard of Deutsch. Very good. Nice. Okay, sorry, I missed it. Sometimes I I try to respond to all comments, but sometimes I miss some of them. Um, <clears throat> okay. Colonic Stacker is breaking some news with us here. And maybe before CCT goes, I can break this news to everybody here. And that is, is that the final Queen's Beast will have an image of Keith Richards naked on it. So that's going to be the final Queen's Beast coin, it looks like. So, yeah. Cool, Poppy stuff. Very good. Yeah, because I guess it's probably not too far from Joyzy. Unless you're from the shore, Joyzy Shore. That might be a little bit of a dry, but we'll see. <clears throat> All right. Tony, yes, Tony Tony confirms that. Uh, so the cryptos are the best. I don't think cryptos are the best investment out there, but there's crazy money to be made relatively quickly, too. That's right. But he thinks the bubble will bust soon, and I believe that as well. Sorry, C172 pilot dude. I'm just reading some of these comments here. Okay, well, Northern, that's not too bad. He hit 95 I guess. Looking at coins and eBay, and then I hear this naked Keith Richards. Yeah, sorry, C172. Didn't mean to freak you out there. Uh, we we went into Bravo airspace there for a moment. A little inappropriateness there in Bravo airspace. So um, uh, we'll come back down to G rated airspace. Ehrlich Wickerman, mein Fund. I pronounced that perfectly, didn't I, Leon? Just perfectly. Three hours, that's not bad. <clears throat> All right. So would an ingot of melted silver coins 
be worth more than just the coins and all the coins would be silver dimes from 1945. <clears throat> I would keep them unmelted for the for the uh, silver dimes. Silver dimes rock. Keep them unmelted. I wouldn't melt those. Plus, it's a little harder to melt 90% silver. And there's a lot of history there. I would just keep them, keep them there. Donkey. Hello, what's up, unorthodox, unorthodox? I'm just chilling like Bob Dylan, you know, homie? What is up? The W in German is V. Crap. Donkey. That was Sir Elton John on the beast. Oh, it's going to be Sir Elton John. Never melt any coins. That's right. Does anybody know SD Bullion deliver in Canada? You know, the funny thing, Richard, is I always thought that SD Bullion was in Canada. But I guess I'm wrong. South Dakota, I think, is where they're at. I found that. So, C-172 pilot dude found a 64-quarter pocket change yesterday. That is awesome. You beat my fine from yesterday that I was going to do a 12-minute video on, but I decided not to, at least not yet, but I may still do one just to see if people watch. All right, I'm out of here, everyone. Hey, thank you, uh, uh, Hydroconomist. Appreciate you coming by, my friend. See you later. Have a good night. Okay, so Timber Rock and Life has a foundry that can melt steel and warp iron. That's awesome. All right. Yes, it should do a series of coins with cats in different moods. That's right. Okay, Ania, good to see you. I hope you have a wonderful uh, weekend. Congratulations on your chibu, by the way. I'm probably going to be splitting here soon, too, by the way, just so you all know. Let's see. What did I find? I found a – I'll show you what I found. I've got it right here. Not as cool as yours. There it is. This is what I found. A war nickel, 40% silver. That's it. That's it. Nothing exciting. But I'm going to probably do a 12-minute video on it, though, just to see if I can do it. Robert Carlson just got here, and I'm sorry, my friend. I'm going to probably be Bolton here. Not Michael Bolton, though. Yeah, have a great weekend, Ania. Take it squeezy. So season 172 found a 46 nickel non-silver. Yeah, just one year away from being silver. That's right. Well, if for those of you here, while you're still here, I know some people have left because you, you thought I was leaving right away, but I never just, just cut it off and leave you guys hanging. I don't do that. I say my goodbyes are long goodbyes. You know what I'm saying? Um, is uh, I just posted a video earlier of almost 70 ounces of gold from my friend's collection. If you get a chance, check it out. You know, it's fun to just see gold and, and to touch it and feel it and hold it and talk about it. And, and actually, I recorded that video last year, early last year, actually, believe it or not. It cannot. But yeah, cool. Ooh. So Poppy Stuff knows some enjoyment. Nice. Very speak. She speaks now. Poppy, are you? For some reason, I'm thinking female, but I don't know. You could be a dude. I don't know, but can you let me know for sure because I, I have a tendency to want to call people he or she, and I don't want to offend you by any means. Hey, Colonel's here. I didn't know you were here, Colonel. If I missed your things, I'm sorry, but good to see you, uh, Colonel. Yes, what? Okay, Poppy stuff is saying yes. Yes, male. Put F for female, M for male, so I know for sure. So that way I don't offend you either way. I assume the flower, so I assume the female, but I'm not sure. Let's see here. Okay, well, yeah, take it easy there, Colonel. First generation German. Okay, very cool. All right. First generation. Uh, so f an import from Germany. Nice. Cool, Poppy stuff. Nice. <clears throat> Leon 97 is living in Germany since 19 years because he's 19 years old. And A.G. Randall was there from 1986 to 2006. I've never been to Germany, but would love to go. It would be cool to visit the old, on the Rhine River. That would be awesome. Germany is cool. 
Oh, yes. <clears throat> Robert Carlson, I've not seen a lot of U.S. Mint unboxings. You're planning on making some purchases soon. I've been holding off on some purchases and um, saving a little bit of money, but I did just do one the other day of a Mexican gold coin. Um, and I'm trying to sort of concentrate more on gold, so I'm kind of limiting some of the silver purchases because of that. Plus, there's a coin show coming up next weekend, and I might go to that, and I'm saving a little bit for that as well, too. So I may pick up some stuff there. But there's not really been a whole lot from the Mint that I've really been interested in, to be honest with you, with an art with a hard H. And, uh, yeah, thanks, thanks, Robert. Yeah, very cool. Well, folks, I think I'm going to start the long goodbye out of here, but I appreciate everybody swinging by here. Gem show this weekend there where, where Stephen Wells is. Um, Ryan, Southwest Germany, that's where I'm living in the Black Forest. Cool, the Black Forest rocks. The city of Freiburg, right next to Switzerland and France, Modern Regular Chronicle series does have a miniature limit. Might get that set. Oh, is it still for sale, Aspie Man? I didn't know it was still for sale. Uh, poppy stuff. It's going to be at the convention center downtown. Uh, yeah, Blade Craze Jester. Thank you. Have a good night. Uh, email me at that uh, email address. We'll work things out. But thank you very much. I <clears throat> appreciate everybody here. Tractor Man, thanks. Dean, glad you could swing in, my friend. Awesome. Good stuff. Very nice. And um, so, yeah. Very cool. Let's see here. Uh, yes, everyone have a good night, JD, you as well. Have a great night, everybody. I want to extend a multitude of gratitude to everyone here in G space, G airspace, for that little pilot lingo with pilot dude. That's all, all I know is a little bit of, of, of airspace stuff. I don't know a lot of the other stuff yet. But anyways, so Poppy Stuff's going to go drink. Hugs back to you and everybody else. Shake hands with all the guys. Hugs all the girls. Have a nice evening, you all. Take it squeezy. Kitty says meow, meow. Buy me. I'm kidding. Well, I'm sort of not kidding anyways. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye. I'm still here. You're still here too. I told you I like long goodbyes. I like to see how many people leave and how many people stay and wait for me to keep talking here. Colonic Stacker says, have a very salivating weekend. I plan to, starting tonight. Let's see here. Ooh. The Silver V commented on my video. Golden Arms did, too. Hey, all right. All right let me think of something else piloty to talk about. Thomas Crown's still here. What can I talk about the um, pilot, pilot-like? Ailerons. Um... Altimeters, dang, um, I don't know. What's what's a, something geeky to talk about with airspace? How about response, um, crew resource management, CRM. Let's talk about CRM. If I drink a soda after sleeping for only four hours the night before and then start and I drink a soda right before takeoff at 8 a.m., that's probably not good crew resource. Hey, John Hartley's got to pee, everybody. That's breaking news, just so you wanted to know. Lots of castles and chateaus. Oh, I'd love to see it, Leon. Would love to see it. Sounds like a beautiful country you live in there. <clears throat> yeah, I'd like to go flying. It'd be cool. If you take a 45-degree angled turn, um, you know, do it the right way. You can snap the wings off of a Cessna 172 very easily if you do it right, just right. All right. Well, anyways, guys, I actually, believe it or cannot, I do got to go. So this long goodbye is about to shorten quite drastically. But thank you. You guys are the hardcore ones that stick around. You know what I'm saying? Oh, don't do a 45 with people on board. Yeah, you'll get a lot of puke. You'll get a lot of puke all over the place. G-forces would be intense. If you exceed the G limitations, you will screw up the airframe. That's right. Yep. But you can do a 45. Oh, really? You can do a 45-degree turn, no problem. I guess, yeah, if you, as long as you don't, as long as you don't 
uh, hit your ailerons down or whatever. I don't know. It all depends on the weight of the aircraft. Cool. All right. Very good. Well, safe flying and safe everything weekend and everything for everybody. And uh, thanks for sticking around. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to have a great weekend. See ya.